Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Namaste. It's Courtney here, and I'd like to welcome you to my Power Yoga series. In this video, we're practicing 10 different power poses that create expansiveness in your body, that reflect positivity and confidence in the world around you. We begin standing, opening the feet wider than hip width apart. Point the toes forward, kick the heels out slightly so you have nice parallel edges on the little toe to outer heel line of both feet. And you're rolling down into the outer edges of the feet, creating depth through the hips and a lift from the inner hips and the navel which creates a strong foundation for your body to rest and create strength and power. Breathing in, breathing out. Let the shoulders roll up as you breathe in and let the shoulders roll back as you breathe out. So we're creating openness. Every exhalation with elbows expanding out to the sides. Every inhalation, releasing some tension through the neck and the traps. As you exhale, let the elbows drop down, securing your shoulder blades into the back of your chest. Now extend the arms out to either sides of your shoulders. Still, the elbows drop slightly down, creating security of the shoulder blades into the back of the chest, breathing in, Breathing out. So this initial power pose creates expansion in the body and actually creates a chemical shift of the hormones to embody more confidence. And there's research done at Harvard, an amazing TED talk by a woman named Amy Cuddy that really dives into the research and the experience of how the body can actually create different shifts in your emotion and create a new trajectory for your life path. So these power poses can actually create waves around you that allow you to move through different barriers to overcome obstacles and to really empower more of your highest potential. This one pose we've been holding for maybe a minute. So let's bring the hands to the heart, resting them together, breathing in, breathing out. Our next move is going to widen the feet a little bit. So you step your right foot out to the side, bend your right knee. And then we're gonna stretch the hips back as we drop the elbows down just in front of the hips. So as you're stretching here, we're opening the hip joints and strengthening the leg muscles, toning the thighs, toning the hips, lifting the navel as we sit deeper into the Pose. Exhaling, inhaling. Straighten the legs and shift to the other side. So we're bending the left knee forward over the left ankle, keeping the right leg nice and straight, pressing through the outer toe edge of the extended leg. The hips sit back. The thighs grow strong. And as the thighs take the weight, we're gonna lift it out of the legs and up through the spinal column, creating expansion from the ground up through the body, breathing in, breathing out. How many different ways can you expand your energy field here in this pose? And press up to straighten both legs, Return to our initial power pose. Feet are a little wider than they were this time. We're gonna inhale, reach the fingertips really far out. 
Exhale, keep the fingertips reaching. Root the elbows gently down so you lock the shoulder blades into the back body. Again, breathe in. Expanding the heart. Breathe out, rooting through the legs. Hands come together at the center of the chest. Our next pose turns this foot to face the top edge of your mat. From here, we bend the knee over the ankle, directly over the ankle joint. You can keep your hands on your thighs if that helps you create more stability through your legs and through your hips. You could also bring your hands to your heart. You could also release your hands out to either side. Palms facing down, elbows rooting down gently, and fingertips really reaching from the center of the chest. Reaching from the heart through to the hands. Breathing in, breathing out. If you feel balanced, turn to look over your front hand. As you look over here, roll the shoulder into the back body, breathing in, breathing out. How can you expand more in this pose? Let's switch to the other side, straightening this front leg. And now switching to the other foot. Gonna bend the knee forward, positioning it directly on top of the ankle joint. I'm gonna take my hands to my thighs in the beginning just to feel how the legs are extending in two different directions and allowing them to expand in those two directions. Plant down through the feet, feel the stability. And then hands to the heart center. It helps to lift the energy from the stable foundations through the body. So in order to expand and to create those chemical shifts that will really empower us and create a long lasting shift, we wanna draw in from the foundations, lift up into the hips, from the outer reaches, draw in towards the spinal column. And as you gather the energy in, activating the muscles, then we can reach out, expanding through to the farther reaches of the fingertips, the crown of the head. If you feel nice and balanced, you can turn to look over your front hand, breathing in, breathing out. Keep the elbows rooting down, gives you more energy to lift up through the heart. Feel the expansiveness. And then straighten the legs, coming back to center. For our next sequence, we're gonna bring the heels in and rotate the knees open over the ankles. So now we have both knees bent at the same time. Hands can rest on your thighs. And we hold this pose for a little bit, settling down again into the roots of the body, from the hips down through the feet, from the shoulders down into the back of the heart. And from those roots, feel the nourishing energy rise through the muscles, through the joints, circulating through the body. From here, we go back to our warrior two positions from one side to another. So we're gonna kick the heels out, turn your first foot, bending your knee, returning to warrior two pose. Extend the arms open. Just gonna release the back of my neck, returning to look from either side. And then you can drop your elbow onto your thigh. If that isn't comfortable, feel free to rest your hand on your thigh. This pressure of your body onto your thigh helps this hip draw into the body. So we wanna be wrapping this front hip in towards the tailbone. And if you can go deeper, you bring your hand down to the ground. 
to really expand, reach your top arm straight up towards the ceiling, maybe even gazing up to look through your fingertips, breathing in, breathing out. You could also sweep this top hand over the crown of your head, if that's comfortable. And you can always rest your hand on your hip, if that's comfortable. From this pose, we lift right back up into warrior two, creating strength in the muscles, strength in the legs. Straighten both legs and move to your second side. So in the research that Amy Cuddy presents in her TED Talk, and there's also a great article you can read online, <clears throat> She says that in their experiments, people held these poses, total poses, for seven minutes. So we've been probably practicing together now for about seven minutes. And when we keep going, we're creating not only a chemical shift in the body, according to the research, but we're creating more sustainable strength and endurance not only in our body but also in our mind and our psyche that creates patterns of confidence patterns of enthusiasm and passion to be able to live more fully to be able to break through those cycles of depression or any kind of feeling of low power where we're needing to break through in order to transcend and reach our goals, maybe to even uncover, discover the goals that we have. We can always use a little dose of our own confidence, our own strength and passion. The world needs of people fully alive, fully embrace their highest self, which is a teaching of yoga, discovering your highest self. So for our third series, our sequence in this video, we bring the feet together. If it's not comfortable for your feet to be together, step them hip width apart. And we're going to stretch the arms all the way up, 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 up bringing the fingertips together. You can interlace your fingers and your thumb and extend your index finger straight up towards the sky. So I am gonna bring my feet together. If your hips are tight, just keep your big toes together and separate your heels gently. If you can, think of the ankles being bound together and you squeeze your inner heels, squeeze the inner arches in towards one another, drop the tailbone, lift the navel, drop the shoulders, lift the heart, breathing in. We're gonna tip the index finger over to the right side. Just like we're going down the edge of a clock. And when you come to your breaking point, you want to pause before you fall, pause before you have to come out. Take a breath in, take a breath out. I'm going to direct my top shoulder back. I'm going to direct my lower rib cage forward. And then I'm going to lift up and out through my index fingers and tip a little bit more, breathing in, breathing out. Hips shift in the opposite direction as your index finger. Expanding your possibilities in this stretch. Coming up to center. Other side. Press down through the feet, drop the tail, lift the navel, lift the heart center. Squeeze the palms together and tip the index fingers off to the left side. 
as they tip over, going counterclockwise. You wanna roll your top shoulder back, draw your left rib cage, the, the rib cage that's underneath you, forward. And as you position the rib cage, kick your hips away from your index fingers and tip a little bit more. Breaking through to power. Breathing in, breathing out. My feet are shaking here. My legs are shaking, so I'm gonna focus on my form. Shoulders back, hard up. Breathing in, breathing out. And come all the way back up to center. Hands to the heart. Turning now to face the top edge of my mat. I'm gonna bring the hands to touch the earth, out in front of the toes. I'm gonna be standing on my right foot, lift my left knee, stretch my knee open. So I'm stacking the left hip on top of the right. I'm gonna breathe in, draw the heart forward as I pull my arms and shoulders back. And then I'm gonna straighten my left leg behind me and fold down, bringing my chest towards my right thigh. Expanding from the ground, up through the body, reaching the left toes a little higher as I step my right foot a little bit more deeply down. And then come up. So your standing split might be about right here. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> Just kind of dove into mine a little bit there. Other side go into it a little bit more gradually. So you're standing on your left foot, draw your right knee up. So you could just extend your right leg straight back, extend the heart straight forward. To open the hips a little bit more, we need that side body stretch. So I'm gonna return my knee to a bent position and I'm gonna wheel it up. So my heel comes close to my tush. And as this hip stacks, on top of the standing leg, I want you to stretch your chest over the mat. And then from all of that length, all of that expansion, all of that hard earned positivity, enthusiasm, and passion, then I straighten my leg behind me and I dive my chest down reaching the crown of the head towards the ground, pressing into my hands, pressing into my standing foot, and drawing up, 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 through the body. And then both feet together, reaching the heart out, folding in, and slowly roll the spine up. down the back, breathing in, breathing up. So I'm going to show you standing splits with a little bit more detail and I also have a full blog post dedicated to the standing splits on my website, yogacurrent.com. So you can reference that and there's a whole section of embracing power on my site. So with the standing splits, you want to keep your feet together. We're going to start standing on the right leg and lifting the left foot. So it's a balance pose, but then we bring the hands to the ground. So the hands actually create more um, balance for us. So you want to be standing on your foot, but also put weight into your hands. So you're stretching out your body. You're expanding from your hips through to your shoulders. All right, this starts to open up this back hamstring. Now I'm going to wheel my hip open by directing my knee towards the ceiling. 
and then I can keep my knee bent and fold forward or I can straighten my leg out and as you straighten the leg out you're welcoming the hip into your body so you want to pull both hips in towards the body and then fold and come up and switch sides so on my blog post where I break it down even more show you how to use a wall for all of this to help you break through the barriers of tightness, constriction, and really help you expand into new zones of power. It always takes practice every time we go into it. It's a certain amount of practice to fully embody the power and the strength and the expansion. So we roll up to a comfortable standing pose and we rest with our eyes closed, shoulders relaxed into the body, hips rooting down through the feet, energy alive, circulating through the entire body from the core all the way through farthest reaches. Namaste. Let's take a couple of stretches to unwind the shoulders. We're going to cross the right arm on top of the left. And you can reach your hands to your shoulders and just give yourself a little hug here. Feel the top elbow dropping down onto the bottom elbow. And as you squeeze the elbows together, Helps to create strength through the back of the chest, and the back of the neck, through to the crown of the head. If your shoulders are more flexible, you can stretch your top arm right out in front of you, palm facing up. Then draw your other hand straight up so the fingertips lift to the ceiling. Bring maybe the hands towards one another. Elbows plant down into the body, shoulders roll down. Breathing in, breathing out, elevating the heart. And then you come out, expanding the arms to our original power pose. Left arm now comes on top, crossing the elbows, reaching the fingertips around the shoulder blades. Give yourself a little scratch on the back, a little pat on the back. Top elbow drops down. Sandwiching the elbows together helps solidify the strength through the back of the chest, the back of the neck, and the crown of the head. Breathing in, breathing out. If your shoulder blades have more flexibility than this, you're going to stretch your top arm forward, turning the palm up. Then take your lower arm and reach the fingertips straight. Maybe binding the hands together. Breathing in, breathing out. Drop the elbows, drop the shoulder blades. Lift through the rib cage, elevating the heart. It's like giving yourself a big hug, a warm embrace, taking all of those 10 power poses that we practiced and helping to integrate into the nervous system integrate into a comfortable place in your psyche and your mind reach back out into your power pose lifting the fingertips all the way up exhale draw the palms down through the center exhaling completely relaxing the arms at the end of your breath inhale Exhale. Find the end of your exhalation. Once again, inhale. And exhale. This time resting the hands in the center of the chest, your heart space. Thank you for practicing along. 
be sure to favor this video so you can easily return to it when you're needing to practice some power poses for some confidence and positivity. Also, be on the lookout for the other nine videos in the 10 Power Yoga program that I'm presenting. Subscribe to Psyche Truth if you haven't already and visit my website at yogacurrents.com where I have a whole section dedicated to power. Thank you again. Leave us a comment. Namaste.